Today I am with Séverine Paint of Le Vieux Pain, a brilliant producer in the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia. Séverine, British Columbia has recently developed a new certification. What is that certification? So yes, uh, we launched in uh, 2020, November 2020 the um, Sustainable Wine Growing BC certification. Uh, it's a program that was started um, by the BC Wine Group Council and uh, it was started in 2008, so that's quite a while, by um, in people from the industry, winemakers, growers, uh, people from other associations and uh, little by little um, we created some self-assessment online for the vineyard and the winery and then in 2016 we really uh, dove deep, deep into um, creating the certification and it, it came to light in uh, November 2020 and to this day there's uh, a few uh, wineries and vineyard in BC that are certified sustainable. And who was behind that initiative? So the um, certification was it's, it's a, a program from the BC Wine Grape Council and um, initiated by some uh, winemakers, uh, growers, um, people from the um, Wine Growers BC, people from the Grape Growers Association, people from the BC Wine Authority. It's it's a whole industry as a whole, but it was um, it's hosted by the BC Wine Group Council and funded by the BC Wine Group Council. I know that the certification covers a lot of ground. What are the main criteria that producers are evaluated on? So the certification is an outcome-based program. We're going to have goals, we're going to have criteria, and then metrics. And then we're going to have a, we have a standard for the vineyard and a standard for the wineries. And inside those different standards, there's different goals. When it comes to climate change, can you tell me a specific example of how this certification will actually help growers to adapt to climate change? So it's a very good question and we have uh, a section in the vineyard and in the winery about water conservation and for example in the vineyard we're going to do some soil analysis, um, that's one way to do it, determine uh, the water retention capacity we have in the soil and then we from there we're going to be able to adapt our irrigation system, put more or less water and this is going to be measured uh, with flow meters and um, uh, also, we, the matrix is the amount of liters that we need to produce one ton of grapes. So that matrix will be able to be compared every year um, because it's a, it's a continuous process. There's sp essential criteria on year zero and then there's improvement uh, criteria as well. And um, uh, in the winery, for example, we're going to have flow meters to determine how much water we use to uh, wash tanks, make wine. Uh, we have little techniques like um, put a gun on a water uh, hose to make sure that we don't waste water. Um, it's little techniques, little by little, that's going to help us in the winery and in the vineyard to save water with always in mind to ha produce the best quality wine possible. And it's, it's really working from the bottom up. Séverine, was this certification actually developed in British Columbia? or was it inspired by other certification that already exists in the world? So from the very beginning, uh, we seeked um, uh, information from all over the, the world and when uh, our program manager Katie started to um, really work on the certification program with the committee, um, we uh, looked at what was done outside in Australia, in New Zealand, in California and uh, we kind of collected information and wrote our standard according to those um, um, programs that was already existing. So our program that we have developed here in BC, we're able to compare ourselves to what's done in, in the world. So our development, our progress will be benchmarked against the world, which is an excellent uh, way of bringing the, the, British one, the British Columbia wine industry up.